A lovely day to you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. This is Rero TV, and I am Akwarero Henry Akbo. Today, we are in the office of uh, a strong uh, card carrying member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, here in Sapele. We're talking about uh, Mr. Guy Galloway. All right, let's go. Redo, it's good having me um, once again. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, uh, let's, let's digress a bit now. The last time we spoke to you uh, was before uh, primaries for governorship and everything. But now primaries have been done. Uh, various governorship uh, candidates have emerged from different political parties, PDP, APC, SDP, APGA, you know. How would you rate the candidature of some of these uh, uh, political parties, their candidates? Are? Um, I would say something. Delta State has only two candidates running for office as it might be because if you look say you want to choose the front runners it is only APC and PDP as for Sheriff he's representing the PDP and Uviomo Agege Uruguomo Agege is representing the APC but if I say I should rate them they both have a little bit of skirmishes in their cupboards there is a bar to be a governor in Delta State. And the bars have been met by both of them. But I and a lot of Deltans hold OVA responsible for a lot of the pains in Nigeria today. Because he has been at the helm of affairs in APC. He is between one and five, number five, in the hierarchy of APC. And Nigerians are in pains. What did he do? I don't know. Look at all the uh, projects that were cited in Delta Central. They are all in his village. What about the other seven local governments? What has he done? Look at the roads, the federal roads in Delta State. They are all in a state of deceleva. But still, he has come out to say he wants to be governor when his party at the top has not delivered. I don't know. I don't know what Delta has to say, but for me, I hold him responsible for going to the market and not being able to buy food. You carry 20,000 to the market, you don't come back with a paper bag. You go to the fuel station, there's no fuel, fuel is uh, totally selling this price, mobile is selling the other price, all over the place everything is in a deceleral state. Then for Sheriff, he also has been through the ranks. He had uh, a primary which he won. In my mind, I would feel that a technocrat like Edewe should have held that position. But Edewe's boat was loaded with too many, too many big whips and big weights. And they were the ones that sank his ship. So Sheriff won, and he's our party candidate. So we'll support him no matter what. Apparently, he went all the way to the Supreme Court and his candidacy was, was uh, legalized. So what do we do? Do I jump from one party to the other because uh, my preferred candidate is not chosen? Sheriff has his own uh, troubles, but I'm sure he's going to scale through at the end of the day. Well, uh, talking about uh, Sheriff, sir, you just made a salient point that a DBA would have made a better governor. Do you think uh, the PDP had in their uh, selection of uh, a candidate? Um, would I say the PDP? Uh, yes, they did. Because it was just a few people that were chosen to do the primaries. And those were the ones that determined who we have as governor, as a governorship candidate today. I'm sure if it had been thrown open to the ground, to uh, thrown open outside, I'm not sure Sheriff would have been chairman, would have been uh, the PDP candidate. He would have won. He's a technocrat. He's a good manager of money. It's, um, it's everything you can think of. He would have made a better governor. But the party has spoken. And like they say, party supreme. I'm only saying my own, my own uh, how I feel. Yes. Party supreme, party supreme. So we'll follow what the party says. You said only two. 
Now, there is Ogboru, a man that has contested countless times with, uh, under the umbrellas of Abga. And there's also Kekenet Bagi for SDP. Are you, are you writing these two people off? Yes, I'm writing them off and I'll give you reasons. Yeah. One, for every time Ogboru has come to contest, he comes all the way from Lagos and he collects money all over the place. And immediately after he loses the election, he goes back with all the money to Lagos and they don't hear from him again until there's another election. If you want to be a leader to people, you have to stay with the people. You, at least there must be inclusiveness. You have to have, there must be a tag between you and the people you want to, you want to represent. You don't, he doesn't have that. Ogboro doesn't have that. All Ogboro has in his, in his pouch is that uh, he plans to be uh, uh, a vice president under a coup d'etat. That is not enough. That is not enough for you to just come every time you come. After the elections, you run the way back to Lagos. What is wrong in living in Delta State? You want to be a, a governor of Delta State and you do not live in Delta State. It's not, it's not possible. That is not possible. Then for Kenneth Baggy, there are too many stories about him everywhere. Too many, many stories. He needs to clear himself from all those stories. There are too many, many stories. The, the, the people come that he doesn't have integrity. They say he doesn't meet the bar. He must have been everything. He, he legal aid chairman. He must have been a, a junior minister for education. He yeah, true friendship. He got all those true friendship with Obasanjo. Everybody knows he's very close to Obasanjo and the big way. So that's how he got all those dispositions. But face to face, would Deltans vote for him? I don't think so. SDP is unknown, quite unknown in Delta State. So I don't know how he's going to do that.